Hi, I'm Tiffany Windsor. I'm Heidi Borchers. And I'm Savannah Starr. Cool to Craft recently sent our special reporter, Lisa Fulmer, to the CHA Summer 2012 show to find out what's new. One of my favorite stamping companies is Stampendous, and they have been a leader in the stamping world for over 30 years. Wow. And what you're going to see today are the coolest Halloween designs and learn more about their awesome embossing powder and their color fragments and even their crushed glass glitter. Ooh. <laughs> now we're here at Stampendous. Look at their booth. Look at all these fabulous stamps. We're going to learn all about stamping and embossing powders. It's going to be a good day. We have new frontage embossing powders that you can see on the frames back here. They're beautiful fall and Christmas colors. The eyes on the owl are the mica fragments. And Tammy Wilson made beautiful samples here of all of our new Halloween stuff. Isn't that wild? This is one of the designs enlarged. And then all across here, our design team have helped make some beautiful samples, whether we're working on wood or tissue paper on the candles, all sorts of really fun, aged-looking things. And even the pumpkins down here were all covered with the glass glitter. Those are new colors. Isn't that fun? And then all the cards. We've got lots of new Halloween things. And then we have display boards that just are hand-done samples that show things for fall and Christmas. And our new kiddos are doing really well. And most of the wood stamps are available as wood or as cling, so that you've got options with that. These are the clear sets down here in the lavender packaging. And this is all new Halloween, so you can see a lot of really fun new designs there. The color fragments, these are just the new colors that we have that you can see on the color chart and new colors of the crushed glass glitter. Look for them in the little jars like this with the metal caps and you'll find them in any number of the stamp and scrapbook stores and some of the big stores have a few of the things. And so these are um, the fragments, the glass glitters, <clears throat> so there's quite a variety. Uh, we have new and old colors out, but we added lots of new ones. You can see close up how we've used them in the cards, with all the color fragments. This one is Trick or Treat. This is all the new Christmas collection with kiddos and traditional and a little bit of everything. Available wood or cling. So now Fran is going to tell us a little bit about Stampendous and their stamps and embossing powders. But you know what? Hold on everybody. Fran, before you do your demo, I have to show the viewers something really awesome. Would you look at this deliciousness? Look at all these flakes and powders. Isn't that the yummiest plate of texture you've ever seen? Okay, I'm digressing. All right, Fran, what have you got for us today? Yes. Well, I've got all my latest embossing powders and the new color fragments and glass glitter and everything. And I'm going to show you a real fun look that I call the encrusted jewel technique. So you can see a card here that's sort of this finished look I'm going for. And then I'll sort of, uh, I'll show you how I got there. So I start out by taking instant coffee and spritzing my paper. Wait a minute, instant coffee? Yes. Awesome. In a little spritzer bottle. Awesome. Spritz your paper. It needs some time to dry. So I did this ahead and I've got this here. But you get beautiful watermarks. Every one is different. So... I thought I would take one of our new little Santas. This is the Forest Santa, I think. <laughs> I'll get the name right. And it's one of our clings. I've got it on a large block. And it makes it very easy to see where I'm stamping. So I've stamped in black. And then I just used some color pencils and did some coloring in. You can see it doesn't have to be colored completely. But you can do some nice shading and little bits to it to get an interesting, very kind of fade away. That kind of call this the frontage look and it kind of should look vintage and, and things. So stamp on some of your thinner papers like Bond or even newsprint and tear out some pieces. And with your favorite adhesive, just a glue stick, will, you want to cover all the edges so that when you press it down, you'll get a nice smooth finish. And you can add some pieces like that, like I did on this one, all the way around the edges. Do some more stamping on it, whatever. And then this is a really fun little technique. I'm going to take my um, clear slow-drying ink here. 
and I'm going to do kind of just some little ghost or shadowy patterns off the edges to show you how fun this is. Do your stamping and then get some of your chalk. Any chalk will work. And this is just another really interesting way to age the card or add some subtle little patterns that kind of disappear in and out of the background. And it just adds to this total look that you can see. You kind of just find where you did some stamping. But that's the idea that kind of gives it soft, warm colors. Okay, and now for the really fun part. I've got out here all of these wonderful embossing powders. This is the shabby white and the shabby blue. And they're mixes of powder that are different granulations and sparkly things. And I want to show you how I'll take a spoon just to spoon some of this on. We'll do a little area of a snowbank down here. Sprinkle, add as many different colors as you like, a little touch of this and that. Whoa! <laughs> and then this mix, this one is a combination of things. I've taken things like the shaved ice and sprinkle some of that in. We've got all of these new um, glass glitters. This is a, a new deeper blue. That's the Royal Marine. You've got so many luscious things. The color fragments. And you mix all of that in together. It might be unique to any different color scheme you're working with. But you get this mix of it. And then just take your spoon and splash some here and there. And a very handy tip is that this is all just sitting on the paper. There's nothing sticky holding it there. But I can take my dry brush and I can move it around. I can do anything I want at this stage before I heat it. So let's say you wanted to uncover a little bit more of the edge. You can do that now. Next, I'm going to hold it carefully at the other end. And without sneezing or anything on it, I'm going to heat from underneath. So you can hear me talking over this. I'm going to hold it steady at one end until it starts to melt and it is so fun to watch it melt. You see all that sparkle and everything? Okay, we'll hold it here. Now the white. You can see how it's gaining when it melts. Isn't that wild? And we'll move the heat along. It'll go quicker once one area starts to melt. The shaved ice turns to opal looking when it melts, which is really a kick. And I'm just holding it right close under here. If it smokes a little bit, let it breathe. And move it around till you think you've got it heated enough. Let's see, I'll hold it here a little bit more. Okay, now I can see the shaved ice going to opals there. Okay, so then you do the shake test. And as long as it was over embossing powder, all of this other glittery stuff is just going to get melted in. So there you have a beautiful encrusted jewel technique to finish off your vintage looking cards. Thank you so much, Fran, for sharing that great card. I love how you can heat up all those powders and glitters together. That is just the coolest. Frantage. Um. Frantage <laughs> is what she calls it. I love, I love it. it. So you can visit to find out more ideas, information, and inspiration stampendous.com